You just let me know. I always compare one side to the other. You know that. If you feel one side is different than the other, from here to in there. About the same? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you just check every rotator cuff. From there to there. Is that a little bit different? About the same. About the same. Okay. In here? About the same? Okay. So the scalings are just going down that list of what you want to look for. Okay. And then I always typically find something in the back. So just let me know how one side feels to the other. I'm going to go right on his infraspinatus here compared to in here. More pain. More pain here? Do you feel it more on the outside or do you feel it more on the top and the inside? Top and inside. Okay. That one, right? Mm hmm Okay. And relax. Put your arms out like that. Okay. And relax. So, and he's also, too, the one I'm going to have him sit up on the table in a minute. If you're okay with going up there, I'm going to check his, his opposite side hip for himself. All right? And then I'm probably I'm going to get him up there. I'm going to check his uh, subscapularis as well. be a little bit easier for me to, uh, to reach. And the one area that I usually find a restriction all the time in the shoulder is the thoracolumbar fascia, right down as it connects to the latissimus. Right. So I'll treat down there all the time anytime I have a shoulder problem. All right? So let's get you on. Okay. You have any tenderness in there? Yeah. Just pray up. Yeah. Okay, so you got a big subscat problem, okay, which is uh, not surprising. And uh, <coughs> I'm going to check your hip a little bit. So if you want, I know it's tough to do, uh, if you go face down, okay. put your hand like that. Good. Good. And then on your table, when you have him down there, that's a really great way just to get a feel for his whole fascia from, from here to there. Um, and I always, anytime somebody comes in with any problem, I always check the hips and the glutes. To me, that's the most important muscle and most important joint in the whole body. So this is the shoulder that hurts you, right? Yep. Okay, so I'm going to have this side compares to the other side. Okay, I'm going to chest right down in here. Is that tender in there? A little bit. Okay, let me know how it compares to the other side. So when you're checking him, you're checking for if he's jumping off the table, but you also want to check and see. Typically what you'll find on the opposite side shoulder is he usually has a little bit of atrophy in his gluteus medius muscle. Okay. It's just not engaging right, and it's stretching this fascia like this across his body. So whenever he tries to move his arm, he's getting caught. Okay? Because this fascia from here is going to run here and it's going to attach right into the maximus right here. Okay? So let's see if you got it. Does this side feel different than the other side? Yeah, it's and he's got atrophy. I can put my finger on it and it's not nearly as toned as the other side. Your hands don't move and glue to your shoulder. All right? I don't want you to lean back when you do this. I want you to rotate to your left as far as you can. Don't lean back. Up straight. No, relax. Okay, don't lean back. Twist. Go to your right. Was it easier that way? Yeah. So he's restricted on left T-spine rotation. Okay? That's going to affect this shoulder. Relax your arms. So on a subsequent visit, or maybe even this one, if you want to take the time, is laser his thoracic spine here. Okay? and then start to work on a little bit of his thoracic spine rotation. So this is, this is an extremely effective way to transition people into other therapies that you have.